tutoring a course. Feedback is, is an integral part of teaching business English. Feedback is the information which we give to our learners about how well he or she has performed in the course. Uh, and the aim is that uh, as, uh, looking uh, after getting this information, the learner would be able to his improve, improve his performance. So uh, we can look at it uh, for, as an assessment in which we uh, tell the student about how well he or she has done. We assign a grade uh, or we assign a percentage. Or and then another way is that we uh, do a correction in which which is more specific and we uh, explain to the learner how uh, uh, what went wrong, what he did right, what he what he did wrong, and also provide an alternate answer. So if if we look at training as a, a closed looped system, we will see that it uh, consists of uh, the following four stages. First of all, we identify the needs of the learners. Then, uh, um, according to those, we design the course or the training. And then we deliver that training. And then we evaluate the training. So we can see it as a four-step or a, a closed-loop system of consisting of four stages. Uh, there are different uh, approaches according to the different methodologies uh, about how we look at evaluation and how we look at feedback. For example, the audiolingual approach would look at feedback in a different way than the communicative approach. So if we look at this image, we will see that the closed loop system consisting of four stages is shown here and evaluation feeds into the identifying the need. So once we come to know about how well the students performed or how bad they performed in a given course, then we would be able to feed that information back into the needs of the learners. So uh, how many types of evaluation there are? There are the, the it, first is the trainer evaluation, uh, which means that the trainer himself evaluates how, uh, how well the course went, how well he taught, uh, how well it was delivered. Then the trainee evaluates uh, his own learning, how much did he benefit from that learning. And then there is testing and feedback, which gives you more uh, quantitative uh, data about uh, the course. So practice and feedback. Um, lead to developing uh, competence uh, and we can see that feedback highlights the strengths and weaknesses of the course as well as uh, it provides basis for assessment and correction. So in this image we can see that feedback is at this occupies a central position and we hope that through sufficient practice and constant feedback the learner would be able to achieve competence in the target language. Traditional evaluation was basically based on accuracy of language forms. So the teachers would evaluate the language and see uh, whether uh, the proper correct forms of language were used or not. But in business English teaching, the focus is on accuracy of language forms as well as on fluency, fluency and the effectiveness of communication. So, and uh, the feedback which we give to our learners has to cover not only accuracy as in the traditional evaluation system, but also feedback for fluency and effectiveness. So, business uh, English training encompasses a fluency of uh, general communication, effectiveness of professional communication and feedback criteria. Uh, uh, the feedback criteria needs to reflect this shift which is there from the traditional way of assessment and evaluation to include fluency and uh, communicative effectiveness uh, in it as well. So giving feedback on accuracy is comparatively easy for the uh, teacher because in accuracy there are, uh, um, there are only right and wrong options which are there. Either the uh, use of language is correct or it is not correct. So usually the teacher is the best person to give a feedback or evaluate accuracy. However, evaluating fluency is a little bit more problematic because although we know uh, ourselves that what a fluent uh, speaker sounds like, but still we don't have any scientific criteria in order to measure and to in order to tell the learner how to increase his fluency. Effectiveness also has some right and wrong criteria and some better or worse criteria. So we can evaluate effectiveness by the impact of communication, how much uh, were the learners able to understand through that communication, did it achieve the desired communicative uh, purpose or not? And uh, what was the variety of media which was used uh, due to convey that message? Was that effective or not? And whether uh, there was conciseness of communication as well. So there are various ways in which we can do that. And uh, one of them is uh, looking at this 
evaluation form which has been made for presentations and you can see here that the structure has been evaluated the delivery journal as well as specific has been evaluated the language has been evaluated and the teacher could record his other observations as well so we can see training uh, as a closed loop system and the building blocks which we have identified earlier and they can be seen as the basis for program design and for uh, evaluating becoming the criteria for evaluating the effectiveness of the communication